People who don't reply until days later, why? Ironically, it's because I often try to be thoughtful in my responses. Sometimes I will read a message and I won't have the will or time to give it the thought or depth that it requires, so I'll put it off to when I can really think about it. Oftentimes it slips my mind because my working memory is kind of trash. It's usually because I read the message while I'm doing something that I can't reply in that moment, and then I literally just forget. Some days I don't feel like talking to people. The comments on this one should be empty until a couple of days from now. I reply to them in my brain and forget to reply them in real life. Sometimes I just truly don't know what to reply to you. Executive dysfunction. Just because technology has gotten to the point where you can reach someone instantly does not mean that person has a responsibility to instantly respond. Edit because I don't want to. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you in a couple of days. Sometimes I just don't have the energy for it, I recharge and relax by being alone and doing things that take very little effort. I'm also not on my phone a lot, I'm a university student taking full units, while working simultaneously. I'm an introvert and it actually takes a lot of energy for me to respond to people. I much prefer talking in person to someone but for some reason messaging drains me. It's nothing against the person I haven't responded to and I usually tell my friends it's the way I am and they understand. So unless it's urgent it could take me a couple of days to respond until I have the energy. IDK, it's like I just, can't. It feels overwhelming, so instead, I like to consistently go through a cycle of forgetting to respond and then chastising myself for not replying, so I decide I'll do it later, but then I forget. It's just on and on and on until I finally do, and it's always, hey sorry for just responding fill in blank here. P.S., thanks for the reminder, I just texted my friend who texted me back on Tuesday. This was the push I needed. Usually anxiety. I spend all day trying to craft the most perfect response ever and I procrastinate it as if I'm dealing with a school assignment or something. Because honestly texting feels exhausting sometimes. Have you ever thought how before cell phones, people caught up maybe once or twice a week? I don't think it's natural to text all day every day. Shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. With cell phone now, people almost feel entitled to a immediate response. I honestly answer when I feel like answering. Same thing goes with phone call. It might not be days later, but it might not be in the next hour either. It's a relatively very new phenomenon that basically anyone in your life gets access to you at all times. It was only 20 years ago that if you left the house for the day you were actually gone. You'd return messages when you came back hours or even days later. Basically, I prefer this sometimes. I'm 35, and after 30, you and your friends realize that you can go for probably six months without seeing each other, and IT doesn't matter at all. I respond immediately in urgent matters, of course. And my friends know and accept that I might take a while to respond, simply because sometimes A. I respond in my head and forget to actually type it out, or B. I'm busy or don't feel like talking at the time because I don't want to. People who expect immediate replies simply because they have your mobile number and can text you whenever they feel like it, why? I'm depressed and don't want to be in contact with people who I don't talk to on a regular basis, so replying to other people or requests is not as easy. Because I don't owe anyone an instant answer. People nowadays assume just because we have smartphones we're obliged to be available at all times, but no I'm sorry. I still have a personal life and I'll gladly put myself before anyone else with the exception of family, and close friends, of course. Because I have more than enough going on, and my cup is overfilling. I need to recharge. Because then you will likely reply right away, and then it's a long drawn out back and forth. I rarely have the energy or focus for constant interruption from you. Me not replying ensures that's the only interruption I'm allowing you that day. ADHD. I will see an email or a message and think to myself that's important, I need to reply to that, then get distracted and forget it ever happened. 
days might be a bit extreme for messages but definitely hours can go past before I even realize what I've done. And emails will definitely go unanswered for days. Quite often it's because they're asking me to commit to plans. I know I will want to commit to the plans, eventually, but right now I'm socially drained and irrationally want to say no. So if I leave it a bit, I can build myself up to saying yes. You'll miss a golden chance. Should have left it at zero comments and then comment replies start in a few days. Because I'm busy as fuck, have a job that's a lifestyle, and either saw it and decided I needed some time to myself to recuperate, or legitimately saw it but my brain is so full of shit going on, totally lost any and all memory of it until I opened the text all and saw it again. I get overwhelmed easily and keep postponing to reply until I feel like it, by then it's too late to reply, and I fear I come off ride or that the mood of the convo was already gone and I would make things awkward, so I postpone it until I can handle that awkwardness, by then it's too late to. Repeat button. Just because I have a phone on me doesn't mean you are entitled to my attention 24-7. Plus if it was really important you would have phoned me. I don't have the mental capacity to reply right now. I'm having a stressful day, I'm trying to meet a deadline, I'm upset over something etc and my brain is too busy and muddled to reply. Sometimes I'm also just drained and don't have the energy, even if it's just something simple, like responding to a meme I'm drained and my brain is mush I can't muster up the energy. If I don't reply for a while, it typically means I'm somewhere in my feels. Because I decide when I'm reachable because you're not the center of my universe. My phone is a tool that I use when it's convenient for me. Generally, a message is an opening to a conversation I don't have energy for right now. Even if it's a simple question, I'd rather come back to you in a day or so when I have time for you and our conversation than just running through a chat for some reason. And sometimes I just see BA. If I'm not replying to your message I'm currently too depressed to function. Probably forgot, but most likely I don't have the energy to respond right away. A combination of shyness, mental exhaustion, and a general hatred of people. If you want an instant answer or reply then call. If you can't be asked with a call and just send a message then you'll wait till I can be asked answering. Don't read this. I'm just saving my place in the queue until I think of something better. I'll come back and edit this whole comment away and replace it with something. Eventually. People who expect instantaneous replies to non-time sensitive messages, why? Because sometimes I don't want to. And sometimes the messages, or the memes are not in my taste so by not responding to those messages I can train them to not send me those kinds of messages. Like training the algorithm of a social media website. I might have read it and then got busy and totally forgot. I feel so validated by the responses in this thread. Texting is so draining to me, and I have been pretty hard on myself for the past few years about being that friend who is always so slow to reply back. I just don't always have the energy to respond, especially when I am struggling with my mental health. I reply when I have the time and mental capacity to reply. It's just not that important. My question would be why do people feel I need to respond as soon as I get it? I genuinely don't have my phone on me 90 of the time. My wife and kids are more valuable than responding to text. I don't mean that in a mean way. Because I don't feel like engaging at that moment. Just because we all have cell phones doesn't mean we should feel obligated to communicate at all times. I've had texts sitting there for months before I responded to them. There are only a few people that are important enough to me to get my undivided attention on a daily basis. I have the attention span of a stick of celery. There could be a lot of reasons, like not having the energy to reply or forgetting to reply after reading the message. I hate texting, so if something is really important, I'd rather talk on the phone. So it's not personal. I have a life. Get over it. I'm not on demand. I don't have the energy to respond to it and if I ever do get that energy it's days to weeks later and I've either forgotten, or it would just be embarrassing to answer at that point. 